Hello there, and once again welcome to another Cyan Orange Review. In this video, we will review another course from the company Wingfox, who was very kind and allowed us to watch the course for free for this review. This time the course will center on character painting and Photoshop. The lecturer of this course is Wing Fox Studio, meaning this must be one of their in-house artists. We do, however, have some names in this video such as Danya and Big Fish. We don't know if they're done by the same lady, but be warned that throughout the course it feels like you have different instructors. And without further ado, let's begin! The course comes with two downloadable files. One file will contain the PSD files used in the course, and the other will have the lecturer's brushes. Now let's take a closer look at these files. As soon as we open the files we downloaded, we can see the course comes with two PSD files. One PSD file, as you can see, is a reference board Danya used, and will be explained in the early videos. The other file is the actual illustration. As we explored the illustration file, we noticed the layers seem to be named, uh, but in Chinese. Yeah, sorry, we don't know Chinese, so it's hard to know what the actual names are here. Now then, let's take a look at the brushes. Uh, oh boy. Once again, all the brushes are in Chinese. <sighs> well, the name might not be important in a brush, but if they're organized, there is no way we could actually know. As we explored her brushes library, we found some good and bad things that we will quickly summarize for you. One good thing is, the library of brushes is big! So if you're still building your catalog, or want to find new awesome brushes to work with, look no further. This course might have the brushes you were looking for. We personally found some very nice brushes for effects, so we recommend that if you get this course, you should take your time exploring her library. As we browsed through the brushes, we did notice that they were indeed organized. At least the brushes seemed to be grouped by themes. So again, that's a very good thing. So, what would be the bad thing in our opinion? One, obviously the Chinese names. And two, the brush library is too big and might be a problem for beginners. As we always say, having too many brushes can sometimes be distracting, and you don't really need that many brushes to create awesome art. The course consists of three chapters, each one with their center theme focused around this character painting, Jin Yi Wei. We remind you, the course centers around Photoshop, and even though the girl who talks is a decent pronunciation, some of you might not understand some of her words. We won't say the English is perfect, but we understood her for the most part. Be warned though, if you're picky about the English of the lecturer, you might want to consider another course. Here, we will leave a sample of her voice over the course, so that you all know how she sounds. In every single class, there is a purpose for us. And for this one, it's to decide on the perspective. Why this method or this layer called two sides? Because later we can have more sides. Here, I used soft light brush. And I used hard brush here. So as usual, Danya starts talking about her references, the key starting point of any good artist. She has this mood board where she explains how she finds the key references for any character she would later paint. Nothing really outstanding so far. She then moves on to the sketch. She begins explaining the importance of dynamic sketching, which in other words is gesture. How movement and rhythm are so important to have a good start with your painting. Next up, she goes on to costume design. Here she explains the various concepts she applies to designing the outfit and how thinking of the outfit as a whole is very important. There is a video episode that is called Theory of Perspective, and as we watched it, we were confused. She barely talks about perspective here. Why is it in the name like that? Oh, but then the answer came in the next episode, as she actually talks about perspective in the video labeled Line Sketch Detailing. So yeah, in conclusion, once again, the chapters are mislabeled and disorganized, at least in this part so far. So in the video about perspective, she explains the fundamentals, how to understand the horizon line, how to read the perspective in various photos, and also, Danya demonstrates how she uses simple geometric shapes to build the sense of perspective. If you struggle with perspective, this video lesson might help, 
But honestly, if you want to understand perspective and apply it to your art, you need to study it extensively and go much deeper into what the video covers. Moving on, she continues refining her sketch to a surprising level. Even if she's going to paint over the sketch, she goes out of her way to really detail the fabrics and elements of her character with great effort. The chapter ends with the usual multiply layer to give a silhouette to the character, where she would then move onto color. In the last video, Danya shows us how she separates areas of her character and gives those areas a base color to start working with it. Now on to chapter two, color design. The lecturer this time teaches the viewer about color proportion with various examples explaining important concepts of color design. Then she moves on to shadows. Last we saw of the illustration, it had flat colors and a strong line art base. From this point, she then starts to add lighting to her illustration. She uses the technique of working the value with just grays, which is a very good technique to avoid getting lost with color. And as such, she has a video dedicated to this topic, Theory of Shadow. She explains very important light concepts in this video, and we highly recommend that you watch it with your eyes peeled. We won't lie, listening to her voice and watching the screen can get you sleepy, but for those who struggle with lightning, she explains amazing stuff in this episode. The chapter then covers techniques to unify color, and lastly creating the sense of space, which basically means how with light, we can make certain areas pop out of our painting to better catch the eye and imply a sense of depth. Okay, first of all, this chapter is the longest of the three and concludes this course. So let's begin telling you what it is about. So she picks up where she left off and finishes her topic about the sense of space or depth in an illustration. Then she moves on to properly painting elements such as the chest and starting the render process. She stops for a second to explain to the viewers about the concept of volume and structure and how it is so important for us 2D artists to know things to simulate 3D planes. This is another excellent video that explains the concept of light using this photo of a sleeve as a reference. Following next comes three episodes where she covers how she renders the face to great detail, explaining along the process of how she tweaks and perfects the face of her character. She ends with an episode explaining the key aspects of the facial structure, something we thought was quite important to have in this course. Even if you don't use Photoshop, it doesn't matter. These concepts will help you a lot. For example, she has videos explaining how to light the face. The lecturer takes her time with the painting, and in chapter three, she covers the very subjects of her painting, such as the outfit rendering, the proper lighting, all the way to detailing the weapons and other types of materials present on the character. So in conclusion, this chapter is dedicated to the process of rendering the illustration. So as usual, for those who don't want to watch the full video, we will summarize what we thought of this course in both pros and cons. So let's begin. The video and sound quality are quite good. The voice quality is okay, but beware of her pronunciation. For those who are picky with this, we recommend you listen to her voice first before buying. We left samples of the speaker's voice throughout the course at the beginning of this video. It comes with two PSD files that are well organized but with layers named in Chinese. The files are still very valuable despite being in another language, and the brushes library that is included in the course is very rich. No time limit to watch the course. You can take your time and watch this course with no time limits to access it. This course contains an incredibly extensive demo on a realistic approach to character illustration. So this course is ideal for those who want to see how you can paint every single aspect of a character in great detail. Even if you don't use Photoshop, you can enjoy this course's content. The course is organized and well-structured. We only noticed one video that was mislabeled, but everything in the course felt solid and well-organized. The lecturer shows the step-by-step -step in her creation process with care and stops from time to time to give the viewer theory classes, video lessons we found to be pure gold. Excellent price for the course. Right now they have the course with a nice discount, so you can buy it for just 39 US dollars. $39 is a great price for the content of the course, which includes 16 hours of video lessons. It doesn't work on Opera browser. Yeah, this problem is still present to this day. We had to watch the course on Google Chrome. The course needs subtitles. 
So as we said, her English is okay, but for some people it could be bad. Courses like this need subtitles. It makes up for the bad pronunciation of some words. The voice quality changes in some videos. We noticed that in some videos the voice was very good and in others not so much. Most of the videos will contain the same quality we showed at the beginning of this review. Alright, at last we've reached the end of this review. Now, do we recommend this course? That would be a yes! Now even though we do recommend this course, we do have some things we want you guys to think about before you buy it. Number one, check the voice sample at the beginning of this review. We saw in previous reviews that people complained about how we were not specific with how good or bad the pronunciation is. So to avoid this problem, we have provided a few samples. Number two, brushes and PSD files come with Chinese names. We really wished Wing Fox would give the English version instead, but this is how it is. And last but not least, think of this course as a super workshop. You will see her whole process of creating this painting, plus some valuable foundation art lessons we found very useful, especially to beginners. Without further ado, thank you once again for watching this review. We will leave the promo code and the link to the course in the description below. And remember, we have a Patreon! You can support our studio and get exclusive content like comics and illustrations. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.